Welcome to Rad Builds, everyone. It's been a while since I posted, but I had to make sure to get something out to you guys for this Halloween. And so, for this Halloween special, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a demo gorgon jack o' lantern. Now, you might be wondering, didn't you also make a demo gorgon jack o' lantern last year? And the answer to that question is yes. But last year's was quite a bit different, but still awesome, so it's worthy to check out. And you can find that video on my channel underneath the Stranger Things section. But now, let's get to this year's jack o' lantern. The supplies I use for this build are a bowl for the guts, permanent marker, my handy dandy scoopity scoop, a shaving tool, and some pumpkin carving knives. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, I used a pumpkin. And you can tell the pumpkin I used is taller because it better fits the Demogorgon head shape. To start, I used the permanent marker to roughly sketch out the five flaps of the Demogorgon mouth onto the pumpkin. And then after that, I used the carving knife and cut off the pieces I didn't need. Once I was done with that, I removed the piece, or at least I tried. And in my attempt to remove it, I broke off the stem, and that was incredibly depressing. But you actually don't need the stem, so you can move on without it. As you can see, I also cut off all of the tops of the flaps. And then once that was done, I began removing all the guts from the pumpkin. At first I was using my hand, but then I switched over to start using my handy dandy scoopity scoop. Now it's time to sculpt the flaps of the mouth, and I'm going to show you how I did this on the final flap. To start, I just trimmed off the sharp corners on the edges to make the flap more smooth and round. Then I carved between the two flaps to make the separation more distinct. Then I used the shaving tool to peel off all of the pumpkin skin on that flap. After that, I grabbed a more precise cutting tool and began sculpting. I used some reference pictures because I wanted the pumpkin to resemble the actual mouth of a Demogorgon. Once I was done sculpting, I went back through the bowl and collected as many seeds as I could. When I had enough seeds, I began jabbing them into the edges of the flaps. I found it best to wait until the pumpkin and the seeds were dry before beginning this step. And this is the final step, so once you finish this, your Demogorgon jack-o'-lantern is complete. As you can tell, I also added seeds on the insides of the flap and around the center to make the mouth look more authentic. Thank you all so much for watching, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of my upcoming videos. And if you especially enjoyed this Halloween special, you can check out the one from last year, and of course you can find that video on my channel page. But happy Halloween everybody, I'll see you all next time on Rad Builds.